Hi YouTube, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the absolute extrema, the relative extrema, and the critical points. <laughs> Okay, so let's start now. So suppose this is our function, assuming I have a perfect drawing here. So obviously, in this given graph of this function, ito, this is one is the absolute maximum. And this one is the absolute minimum. Provided this is our, this is the interval we're actually talk, talking about. Now, however, in the parts of the graph here, there are these points, kunyari ito. So, kung iisipin mo, they're actually not the absolute maximum. They're not actually the absolute minimum. So, ang mangyayari dito, they are actually just points. Pero kung iisipin mo, this one here is actually maximum relative to the neighboring points here. This one here is also the minimum relative to the other points in the nearby. So, ibig sabihin nito, they may not be the maximum, but this is actually the relative maximum. This may also not be a minimum, but this is actually the relative minimum. So, yun yung pinagkakaiba ng absolute maxima and relative extrema here. So, when I say extrema, I'm referring to the pl plural form of either maximum or the minimum. Okay, so how do we formalize this notion? So here, a function f is said to have a relative maximum, so respectively relative minimum, at x of 0 is if there is an open interval i containing x of 0 on which f is defined and that f of x of 0 is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in i. If we are actually referring to the maximum, Ito naman ang mangyayari, f of x sub 0 is less than or equal to f of x if we are actually referring to the relative minimum. Okay, so anong pinagkaiba dito? So, relative maximum. Although we have already see, seen the uh, intuition of this graph here for difference of the absolute maximum and uh, or the absolute minimum with respect to the relative maximum or the relative minimum. So, ang mangyayari dito, ito yung formal definition niya. A function f is said to have an absolute maximum at x sub 0 on an interval if there is some number x sub 0 in the interval such that f of x sub 0 is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in this interval. So, if we are referring to the minimum, ito yung uh, counterpart niya. So, kung iisipin mo, pari-pariho lang, di ba? Yan, pariho lang. For all x, this is in the interval. This is actually relative to all these points here kasi. Ito naman is whatever would be the coverage of your graph. You're actually referring to which one is the highest or which one is the lowest. So, yan yung pinagkaiba nila. Moreover, ang pinagkaiba lang kasi if we are actually talking about of the graph, we're, ref we're referring to the absolute and uh, maximum and minimum as just points there. So, which, whichever is the absolute maximum or whichever the absolute minimum. Ang pinagkaiba with the relative extrema is that pwede kasi sa isang graph maraming relative maximum, maraming relative minimum. Kasi nga, if you could check on the graph, ang mangyayari dito, this, is, this one here is a relative maximum relative to the neighboring points on the graph. This is the relative minimum. This is the relative, re, relative to the nearby points on the graph. So, yun yung pinagkakaiba. So, pues, posible kasi kunyari yung graph mo pa ganito eh. Ganyan. So, this one here is the maximum relative to this. So, it's another point there which can be considered as relative maximum. So, yun yung pinagkakaiba nila. So, dahil posibleng maraming relative extrema on the graph, meron din kasing ano, walang relative extrema on the graph. So, say for example, kunyari you have this, your graph is like this. So, it's a linear function. So in this interval here, this is the maximum, this is the minimum, pero wala tayong makikita ang relative extrema there. Kasi wala kang ma-compare na isang point there relative to the neighboring points. So because of that, we will have the notion of introducing 
the critical points. Kasi dito natin malalaman yung existence ng pagiging relative extrema or the absolute extrema. Although this will not be covered here in this video, but at least we would have the intuition of what a critical point is because we will be using this concept on the succeeding videos that we will be having soon. So what does it mean by critical value or critical point? So an x sub 0, so it, if x sub 0 is a number on the domain of the function f, and if either f prime of x sub 0 is 0, or f prime of x sub 0 does not exist, then x sub 0 is called a critical number or critical value of f. And then corresponding to this x of 0, we have f of x of 0. So this ordered pair he here is the critical point. So with this discussion, it is obvious that we would have to have a knowledge about getting the derivative of a function because we will have to solve that in order for us to get the critical value or critical point. Okay, let's say for example, let's say f of x... Yung function natin is 3x squared minus 3 over 4x to the 4. So how do we solve on that? First is, what is the derivative of this f of x? So we have f prime of x equals 6x minus 3x cubed. Tama. And then we can factor this out. We have x, 3x yan. So we have 2 minus x squared. Solving this one, we have 3x equals 0 implies x equals 0. And we also have 2 minus x squared equals 0, which implies x squared equals 2, implying x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2. This means that our critical numbers are negative square root of 2, 0, and square root of 2. Yan. Pero how do we get the critical point? Okay, and corresponding to these critical values, we have f of 0. So ano yung f of 0 natin? So we will substitute this originally, so you get 0. How about f of negative square root of 2? So mangyayari, this is 3 negative square root of 2 squared minus 3 over 4 negative square root of 2 square uh, to the 4. So this becomes 6 tama, minus. Ito kasi magiging 4 yan. So cancel yan. You get negative 3. And so this is equal to 3. And then lastly, we have f of square root of 2. Parang pareho lang ata. Diba? This is 3. You can reevaluate this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. So therefore, our critical points are 0, 0. Uh, square root of 2, 3, and negative square root of 2, 3. So these are critical points. Okay, so now that we have discussed already the difference between the absolute extrema and the relative extrema, so we will have this theorem first. This theorem would actually tell you about something with regards to the extrema. So if a function f is continuous on the closed interval a, b, then f has an absolute x maximum value and an absolute minimum value on the closed interval a, b. So ang pinaparating lang ni extreme value theorem na kunyari if you have this function which is continuous, sure na sure ka na meron talagang nag exist doon na absolute maximum and absolute minimum. So hindi lang tayo guarantee to have the extrema, but we're get we need to guarantee none. So we're only having the guarantee to get the absolute extrema. So that so because we have talked about the absolute extrema, by virtue of this theorem, the extreme value theorem, we would have the steps first. So number one step is find function values at the critical numbers. Yen. Number two, so find f of a and f of b. And then for number three, we will find the largest and the smallest value. Okay. So example, let's say our f of x here is equal to x cubed plus 
x squared minus x plus 1. So the question is, we will have to find the absolute, okay, absolute extrema of f on, meron tayong domain na negative 2, 1 half. So dyan lang yung domain natin restricted. So how do we get that? So we will get first the first derivative. So paano? This is derivative nito. We're done this on the previous video. So I hope you can still remember. This is 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Setting this to 0, we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Anong implication nito? Can we factor this out? I get 3x minus 1 and x plus 1. Tama ba? Kasi mag-multiply mag ka ba, makakabalik ka dito eh. So this is 0. So this implies that our x equals 1 third or x equals negative 1. So these are the candidate for our um, critical points. However, um, our interval is negative 2 to 1 half. Pumapasok ba sa banga? Actually, ito pasok. Ito naman pasok. So it follows that these two are the critical values. So how do we get the critical points? F of negative 1. So this is negative 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 2. Tama ba? Okay. How about F of 1 third? Correct me if I'm wrong. Kayo na lang bahala mag-compute. This is 22 over 27. Okay, so however, we're only talking about the critical points because we're given with the critical numbers. But since we're actually talking about this interval here, kailangan din natin i-check yung value at the interval. So let's start with f of negative 2. So f of negative 2, ano nga yung given? Um, x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, so if this is negative 2, ang mangyayari, this is negative 8. Yan, plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So basically, this is negative 1. How about f of 1 half? Try natin. Uh, kayo na bahala mag-compute. I think this is 7 over 8. Correct me if mali lang yung computation ko. So which one is yung pinakamalaki? Yung pinakamalaki natin is... Alin ba? Okay. Tama naman tayo. This is actually 2. So, ito yung max. And then, sa lahat, this is negative 1. So, dito yung mean. So, we got it already. Okay. So, let's consider one final example. So, our f of x here equals 2x plus x plus 1 raised to 3 over 5. So, so ano mangyayari? Uh, take the derivative here. So f prime of x equals 2 plus 3 over 5 x plus 1 raised to negative 2 over 5 times 1. Diba? Ito yung derivative. So chain rule kasi ginagawa natin. Diba? Bababa siya. Kopyahin. This one will be minus by 1. Tapos derivative sa loob. So that's why we get this. Okay. So mangyayari. This is 2 plus 3 over 5. 5, uh, fifth root of x plus 1. Okay. So, paano natin makukuha yung critical value? So, ibig sabihin, guys, wala talaga siyang solution at um, wala siyang solution dito equals 0 if we want, we were ha we will have to equate this. Pero, this will take with this will be undefined f prime of x will be undefined for x equals negative 1. Kasi hindi pa pag ipa sa papasok mo yung negative 1, dyan magiging undefined siya. So therefore, our critical value candidate is negative 1. Yung domain na binigay kasi natin, kunyari, let's say, uh, negative 2, 2, 2. So ibig sabihin, pasok sa banga to. So, how do we do this now? So, f of negative 1 is equal to negative, uh, yung original, yung f kasi natin na given is, so this is negative 2 plus 0, so this is equal to negative 2. 
Okay, how about the boundary? So, f of negative 2. So, this is equal to negative 4 plus fifth root of negative 1 cube. So, this is equal to negative 4, negative 1. That's equal to negative 5. And then another boundary 2. So, this is equal to 4 plus 3 cube. Ganun. So, which one is the lowest? Ito yung low, lowest ata. And then this is the highest one corresponding value here. So, therefore, this is the absolute minimum or the absolute maximum. That's it. So, if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.